This is the image shared by police of Katie Price's 4x4 lying on its side in a country lane. The accident happened near her home in Sussex early yesterday morning. She was taken to hospital but isn't thought to have been seriously hurt. In court this afternoon, she pleaded guilty to drink driving, driving without insurance and while disqualified. The court heard that she told police at the scene, I took drugs, I should not be driving, I admit it all. Her defence solicitor said she was in the process of bankruptcy and was going through a really difficult period. She was given an interim driving ban and warned that she could face prison, but sentencing was deferred on condition that she have treatment at the Priory Centre. On Monday, she appeared on television talking about how her existing driving ban made it difficult to visit her son in residential care. Yeah, Harvey's in um, Cheltenham now. Oh, and he keeps ringing me, saying, Mummy, I miss you, I need oh, kisses and cuddles. Yeah. So it is quite hard, um, because obviously I don't get my licence back till December, so I can't just whiz in the car down there. Those closest to her have expressed how worried they are about her. In a statement yesterday, her family said, We have for some time been concerned about Kate's well-being and overall mental health. Today, our worst fears nearly came true. As a family, we have been and will continue to help Kate get the help she needs. We hope that she will realise that she cannot battle her issues alone. They also asked for the media and public to give her the time and space she needs to seek proper treatment and appeal for compassion rather than condemnation. Her fiancé, Carl Woods, described her as a rough diamond and said he would continue to be there for her. She'll be sentenced on the 15th of December. Ruth Liptrot, 5 News.